Okay. Ooh. Okay. All right. So it looks like uh, Trevor is playing black. So in, in the in the live stream, enough. Trevor was white and Jared was black. It has now been switched. Uh, so we're gonna get no, a run back again. on the game. Uh, just to kind of let right. you know, statistically... Tr trying to move his pawn diagonal at the start. Very interesting <laughs> tactic. Breaking the rules. Uh, see, controversial uh, gameplay maneuver. See, Wonder, what you're not realizing is that in war, there is no rules. <laughs> mm. There might have yeah, been some guidelines set there by the Geneva Convention, but not in these players' eyes, you know? Ooh, very... So turning a very bad can... move, moving uh, the knight to uh, to h3... And turning it into advantage, taking another knight. Trevor's now in the now, lead uh, with a solid three-point lead. Indeed, but Trevor's going to need to start opening up more of the back row. He's going to be opening up like the therapist told him that he needed to. You know, there's one thing that we can all hope for, and it's I like kind of really like, I don't know who to vote for in this, but all I'm hoping yeah. is that like it's just going to be entertaining. I, I am personally hoping for a mutual mutually assured destruction i i agree this is, so far that's what's happened with the reputation been looking to mm -hmm. see what it looks like when you slam two brain cells together and i think Boy. this might be how they Ooh. test it you know current you get your fucking castle out of here <laughs> so I'm currently really nuclear you. fusion is not something that has been discovered and able to do so, scientists have been really wanting to find out how we can do that, and by using these two brain cells, we're hoping we can use enough fuel from the hydrogen, from the ditrium, and, no, di, oh my god, dihydrogen Jared, and tri- just send the castle. Just send the castle. No, Jared. It is indeed a case of monkeys and typewriters, Sean. It is 100%. I thought Shakespeare was bad. He's not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trevor has put himself <laughs> in the, what I call, the loser's octopus. <laughs> Except for two The who what? Yeah, say say that say that. Use that terminology one more time. Jared, the losers the octopus. Jared, do you not do you not know oh, yeah. the do you not know the night on uh what's it called the night on uh five, what's it called C five or is it it's either C five or uh F five but it creates a it's called the the octopus. It's a fun little chess fact for you. Trevor Jared, trying to take engage the bishop. Hey, moving the. H2 pawn one space forward. Very strange move. Doesn't really do anything for him. Actually, it ke it allows him to have that pawn piece uh, guarding it. Jared actually losing out on that trade. Jared losing five points to the knight, or for and taking mm -hmm. three points with the other knight. So Trevor gaining a two point advantage on that. Oh my that goodness, the points seem to be in. Oh, actually, wait, that was a rook. Never mind, mm -hmm. the points have rebalanced themselves, perfectly balanced yeah. as all things should be. If now, you... the points are fairly balanced, but I will say Trevor still has not opened up his back row that much. Like a person who submitted their rough draft into college, the points seem to be everywhere. Mm -hmm. What a great move. <laughs> yeah, putting pressure on that rook. Very, very important to get some uh, interesting, interesting maneuver on... Uh... <clears throat> Trevor going for the piece that's less valuable. Wait a second. Is he going for it? Trevor going the piece that's worth three points instead of the piece that's worth five points. <laughs> it's very it's something that we never expected to see, but yes, we can yes. see it here. That's one of the best things about this series. You can see players do moves that you would never, ever, ever see any decent chess player do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He knew that Jared struggle with the rook. Hasn't watched enough mm -hmm. high school DXD, if you feel me. Um, yeah. So he decided to take the bishop because he's an Austria or uh, Aus moving the Aus Aus moving the rook from H one into H five. Very good. Op just completely uh, obliterating that pawn. The rook yeah, I feel and like getting the rook out there, which is very important. Jared wanting to save that pawn in the center because that pawn is his mm -hmm. rock. Now, will he take the trade is the good question. Now, now Sean. That is my uh, name. Can they actually hear us? Yeah, they can hear us. Oh, okay. Then I don't want to. <laughs> Next game, uh, what's it called? Next game, we'll, we'll, we'll have ourselves a commentator booth. Uh, you know yeah. now. <laughs> well, actually, we'll serve her deaf in both of them so they can't get any help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ooh, that's an interesting move to push up like that. Fuck. Be very interesting. But that is also very... Oh, my God. The oh. gambit. Oh, my goodness. The gambit working out for Jared. The multi-stage see, aerobic exercise has been activated. <laughs> not even I... Not even I saw that coming. Now, Neither did I. I, I didn't ex- there's something called... Uh, I believe there's something called a <clears throat> smoke bomb of stupidity. Where yes. you just make enough bad mistakes to where... Or it works out for where... one person. Because you can only go... You only can go full stupid. Um, <laughs> it's really interesting to see that not only was one stupid move made. But, Cause... but then two... And then three moves, but because of the third stupid move, it made the second move not stupid. Trying to take that pawn, not realizing that he'll be in check if he does. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Well, the game won't let me if I do it. Well, yeah, because you'll be in check. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, moving his queen back to E1. King. <laughs> no, the queen. <laughs> Oh, right. The queen. (laughs) By the way, Jared, the person who won the game on the live stream, believes that you must protect the queen and the the piece that took the knight is actually the king. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even though that that makes that makes sense to me, even though the the symbol there for the king or for what he calls the queen is the English royal king crown. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Well, you know, that's a very misogynistic point of view. You, uh, you know what? You're right. I need to be more open. I need to be open like a book. I need to be willing to accept other people for who they are and what type of sandwiches they make. Yes. Beautiful move right here. Really pushing forward. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm like a confused now, anime I would character. Say this is- Go ahead, to wonder. No, I would say this is still uh, every anyone's game. This is Any, actually everyone's game. Yeah, this is everyone. Ty could even win this. Yeah. What's that supposed to mean? Hell, I've got a decent shot at winning this game. No, I'm we're not even playing. This. I'm losing this just by watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's everyone's game to win, but also everyone's game that we're losing. Oh my goodness, mm-hmm. the queen steps forward. Ooh. I, I the saw co- a check. The ooh. Trevor not realizing that another very valuable piece was in eyesight. <laughs> the qu- the queen shopping for that thing on her. Pose be shopping. A very a very good uh fork that uh man just put down. It's so incredible. Right now, the only thing separating these players, the only advantage Trevor has is one additional pawn, not realizing that he will be in check by making that move. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Maybe if you move it a little bit slower, yeah. then it'll. Now, what work. he could do is try to force a queen trade right now. And <laughs> but try last to time. Just win with pawns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> However, I don't trust either player's ability to do that. So. <laughs> I mean, right now, Jared only has four pawns. Trevor has five pawns and a bishop. So it's really going to be up to what type of a move Trevor's thinking to really get rid of that queen, because that queen can stop it. If Jared can get any of his pawns over, then he's got some more queens. He's kind of fucked, though, because he has two pawns back-to-back. Now, now, Sean, you said a uh, interesting uh, point there on what kind of moves uh, Trevor thinks he can make. And th- now that does raise the question, can Trevor he, he, think? He moves? <laughs> that is, you know, I asked myself that at 3 p.m. today when I was on a kayak. I was like, mm-hmm. could Trevor make... The mogul money moves. <laughs> mogul money moves. And you know what? <laughs> by taking that pawn, I think he can. But by the position which he's in, I think he can't. <laughs> mm-hmm. Both players putting themselves in the exact same positions, essentially. Ooh, a solid move from... <laughs> uh... <laughs> I know people's names on this Discord. <laughs> Uh, Trevor's white. <laughs> I am. All right. Ooh, beautifully taking that bishop. The game is almost tied up now. Constantly trying to put, going for a second queen that will, in fact, uh, or win f- him the game. Not, probably. Not only could he go for a second queen, but even in some certain s- situations. Uh, another knight 
or maybe a bishop or a rook may or may not have been able to get rid of some pieces. Fast. Now, not immediately putting him into check and instead putting a queen behind a pawn. Now, that's a very, very interesting move more. because it literally does nothing. Yes. <laughs> the only thing it does is waste a turn <laughs> of our life. Yep. <laughs> Well, man, now he's in check. Yep. Is this what those kids call now, a this, pog this champ Usually a fairly easy and quick way to win a game with two queens just walking the king down. Yet somehow I still don't believe the game will be over this quickly. Oh, <laughs> man, he puts him in check in a different way that would most likely mm -hmm. not be helpful. Mm -hmm. He once again <laughs> continues the <laughs> dumb idea. Trevor. And then puts doesn't him. Doesn't put him in check. Doesn't doesn't put him in check. Wait, no, it does does. Sorry. Oh my bad. Does put him in check, but doesn't get rid of the one of the most important threats. Oh my goodness! But he does Ooh. get the queen. Okay. Yeah. Now this is gonna be really oh, interesting oh, to see. <laughs> All right. He figured it out. Trevor has gained yeah. two hundred and forty-nine points. Go again. And the run back has been completed. Now will they go for? Takes all. Now, fun fact: uh, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but I know I was going to mention it. But um, the t the sorry, white she's side a killer queen. That's a dynamite with a laser beam. Mm -hmm. Guaranteed to blow your mind. Mm -hmm. Anytime. Recommend your appetite. Insatiable. Viagra fight. <laughs> <laughs>